So hi guys, welcome to my room, this awesome room. I mean look, I have like something from the Lion King, how cool is that? And this, people totally say this about me. They actually call me the positive energy radiator. And they also call me this too, young, wild and free. Hey, keep, keep the camera still please, oh, forget it. So obviously I'll wake up in the morning and look how totally cute I am. And you know what my mum's gonna do? She's gonna come and try and say something like this. Morning, Jamie. But I totally resist it, but then she tries again. Wakey, wakey. Yeah, I totally showed her. Look how I just hid myself. And then listen to what I say. That showed her. Have another. Yeah. What are you going to do about that? You're not making me leave. No, you've got that look in your eye like you're going for the blind. No. Oh, you are going for the blind. Oh, oh, totally. No, please stop. No, please stop. But when it... The sunlight coming in. And I can see the tree horse. It's a beautiful day. It's time to wake up. Yay. Right, come on. You got tied to your room today. Oh, I can't believe you just totally woke me up. Yeah, take that. Ugh. I guess I'd better start the day off then. So when I wake up, I totally sit up with my head first. And I'm gonna go for a nice wee wee. Oh my God, I left my phone behind. What's wrong with me? So after going to the toilet, I'm straight to making my bed because it's got to be made absolutely perfect. So it's so much more satisfying when I mess it up later on. I get the covers nice and straight. Pick up the pillows again after taking them off. I don't even know why I did that. I've got some awesome cushions to put on there and cuddlies. I mean, look at the elephant. How cute is the elephant? But I'll go off for a bit and have a little dance in between because that's fun, but I come back with cushions. There's another one there. I know the elephant, oh, I could totally put it in the wrong place. So yeah, I mean, putting it there is like so much difference because we like the elephant at the center. And then have another little dance, get the hearts. And then I just grab Pachina. That's the bear in the middle there. And then there's this like green dinosaur who, I don't even know what the name of this dinosaur is. He, he can just get shoved in the corner there, I guess. And then I make a really, really terrible attempt at folding this blanket and it almost looks like a bib hanging from my chin. I mean, this one is one of my favorite ones because it makes me feel like I'm a black and white leopard. I sometimes put it on my head and crawl around the room going rah, rah. Then I just throw this donkey-like thing on the bed and then I have to check my phone in case my boyfriend has messaged me. You know what? He's the only one that understands me. Maybe my iPhone too. I mean, look at this thing. There's a little dot on here I can move around. Look. Whee. Up and down. Whee. Woo. Nothing actually happens, but whee. Like it. Oh, look. There's a picture of a monkey. Okay, that's enough phone time. You know what? I love my blankets and stuff, but folding them is like a total drag. I don't even know what I'm doing with this one. If I'm hiding behind it or what, which corners to fold. You know what, guys? I'm just going to have to cut away and watch a YouTube tutorial on how to fold blankets. There we go. We got there in the end, guys. It only took a few hours, but don't worry. We got there in the end. So that one's all folded and oh, the donkey's totally in the way. Don't mess it up now for me, donkey. So we've got two blankets on the bed. There we go. There is more to come, which I'm completely dreading, though. Folding blankets is a total drag. You know what? Forget it. This one, bleh, just going down. Don't care. Whatever. So all of that folding of blankets has totally made me thirsty. So I love to have some orange juice, freshly squeezed, of course. My brother normally does this, but like, I'm totally gonna do it because I can show you guys that I can do it as well. But if you expect me to shout out juicing in that way, well, I'm not going to do it. So like, sorry. I'm just gonna cut up the oranges, put them in the juicer, make some orange juice, nothing else to say, simple as that. And I tell you what, guys, this isn't as easy as it looks. I make it look easy. I mean, you have to cut the orange open first, and then you have to actually pick it up with your hand, place it on there, and then pull down the lever and hold it down. And then that makes the juice come out. I mean, I did that all by myself. How cool am I? And look, all the juice is trickling out, cool. And look at that absolutely perfect orange juice. Comment below, what did you have for breakfast this morning? Was it as good as this? <laughs> I totally doubt it. So I just sit down and chill with my orange juice and with my phone, because it's been like 22 seconds since I last touched my phone, which is way too long for me. You know what? In fact, this orange juice is gonna have to get out of the way. I'm gonna need two hands on the phone so I can kind of like like and scroll at the same time. Okay, yeah, so my room's a total mess. I'm, I don't even know what that is in the drawer sticking out there. And my mum's gonna no doubt remind me of this. Time to tidy your room. Which I'm totally excited about. I mean, I'm well ready to drop my phone and get up and do this. So the reason my room's such a mess is because I've been making a Halloween costume. And yeah, it's, I know it's May, and you're probably wondering why I've been making a Halloween costume in May when Halloween's in October, but like, I don't even know why. My parents don't know, none of us know why. I'm literally so lost, I'm gonna walk out of the room. So most of the mess in my room will be clothes and things like that, which I'm completely incapable of putting away in the drawer the first time. It's just absolutely impossible. 
and there's things like this, this hoodie which comes from my boyfriend and it smells like him so I love it so much because he smells really like garlic and garlic is totally my favourite smell. And when I'm feeling really crazy, I can tidy my room up super fast like this. Look how fast I'm going. Has anyone ever tidied their room up that fast before? I doubt it, but comment below if you have. And I'll tell you what guys, I'm like so good with a broom. I've used a broom for sweeping up stuff at least four times now. Yeah, so like this is my fifth and that basically makes me a pro. Yeah, like a professional, I've got a certificate and everything. However though, I do have trouble with it on the bottom of my feet still. I still haven't figured out how to get around it yet. Maybe I could step over the mess, I don't know. Yeah, maybe I'll try that next time. And one thing guys, I found out this is a magic trick, yeah? I can throw dirty clothes out of my room and they will come back 100% clean. It's magic, I don't know how I do it. And another thing is, there are some things you can just mess around with and make it look like you're tidying up, but then just put it back in the same place, it's cool. And I don't know about you guys, but when it comes to emptying bins, I like to do this quick. So it's time for super fast speeds. We Yeah, there we go, all done. And you know what guys, I'm gonna show you something absolutely amazing now. I'm gonna return with a bag that matches the color of my orange juice. How cool is that? A few last touches now guys, I'm just gonna move things like half a millimeter to make it seem like I'm actually tidying when I'm not. I'm even doing the orange juice in the mirror at the same time there. I'm so good at multitasking. And now this is the time when I normally put on my watch. Oh my God, time, watch. I didn't even realize that I did that then. I'm so clever. A big tip guys is look after your duct tape. You have to keep this somewhere safe. I put it in my drawer because you never know when you're gonna to wanna to make a costume or tell your parents to put it across your mouth because you talk too much and stuff like that. So make sure you keep it safe guys. Comment below, where do you keep your duct tape? And oh my goodness, my mum's totally coming in, trying to take credit for my hard work by doing like one thing with that bag which I specifically left there, fine. I'm gonna get two bags then, and I'm gonna move those. How do you like that then, yeah? One's gonna go up there, yeah, and one right in that space. How do you like that, mum? Oh, you don't like it? Oh, in, in that case, I'll put it back uh, somewhere else, yeah, like whatever. And have a little sip of juice, because I've worked like super hard doing all of this. And then, yay, look at me celebrate my clean room. And doesn't tidying your room totally make you hungry? So yeah, I'm going straight for breakfast with some Weetabix. And I'll tell you what, Weetabix, it may seem tricky getting it out of the pack, but I can do it so easily. I just tear a little bit, pull one out, and then the rest just fly out. Watch this, that one goes in and then the rest fly out. Well, this one doesn't fly out because I only like want one. I don't even want two or even more than one. So yeah, that's going back in the box. And for choice of milk, I had soya or almond, but I'm gonna go for soya because soya is so good. Oh my God, I said soy good, that's so funny. I didn't even realize that, I'm so clever. Normally with my breakfast, I like to watch a black screen with maybe an Xbox menu as well. But today instead, I'm gonna watch a bit of YouTube. And what I'm gonna watch today is Russell Howard because I find him like so funny. Although he's probably the second funniest person I know after my dad, who's without a doubt the funniest person I've ever known. And then after that, I'll play maybe a bit of Fortnite where I basically run around with a giant lollipop and do things like that. It's a weekend, so I'm just relaxing, you know. And yeah, I really enjoy playing this game. However, it gets really annoying when I end up running into water like this. Oh, see, that's ruined everything. I'm just giving up now because I've got to go and have a shower because I'm going out today with my boyfriend. So I need to be ready. And I was in that shower for like over 10 minutes, maybe even 20 minutes. So like that is way too long away from my phone. I had to rush back to get this phone just in case he's messaged me because he's like totally the only one that understands me. No one else does, except for maybe you guys. I do love you guys, Free Game. Subscribe if you're new to this channel. Love you, bae. Okay, right, fine, I've got to get dressed now. So I'm dressed, I'm going for the towel on the head look today and I tell you what, I'm the best when it comes to putting on hoodies while I have a towel on the head. Look how quickly I do this, guys. You just pull it over, it gets completely stuck, and look how cool I look. I should totally go out like this today. What do you think? Comment below if this is the look that you're going for this year. So then I'll totally sit down to do some makeup and I've got like 3,000 items in my makeup bag. I like to normally start off by putting makeup on my finger because I like to make my finger look really nice but then all of a sudden I remember it needs to go on my face. So I put it on there and then tend to poke myself in the eyes as I'm putting it on because I don't know, that's just what I do. Then I realized that wearing the towel actually does look quite stupid, so I just let my hair go free because that's what normal people look like apparently. I don't even know. 
So then I start putting my makeup on and after realizing that my parents might not let me have a tattoo, I think maybe I could just draw one on my face instead because that would be so much cooler than a tattoo. So all that's left is to brush and blow dry my hair. And here's a real big tip guys, is when you are blow drying your hair, make sure you make the weirdest face possible. Like scrunch up those eyes, make it look like you're smelling something with your eyes closed. Yeah, really scrunch those cheeks up, make it look like your cheeks are almost eating your eyes. It really helps get things dry quick. And before you know it, your hair will be dry, smooth, so much that you'll want to do a celebratory kind of dance. Look at me go, yeah. But for me, none of that really matters because I put a hat on my hair, meaning the whole thing was a waste of time anyway. But right, I'm ready to go out. I've got my phone, which is absolutely essential. And I'm going to head out the door. So thanks for watching, guys. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. Oh, this is my first time using the door. I didn't realise it has to be closed. Okay, yeah. Bye. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. How did you enjoy your video, Jamie, of your morning routine? Uh we wanted to do something a bit different. I hope you've enjoyed it. Let us know in the comments below what you think. If you like this style of video with me doing the voiceover and her just being the victim. But it's good though. At least we got to see Jamie's life and what happened and what you get up to. And let us know if you've got any comments directly for Jamie. She loves seeing the comments. She's bang on those comments when you mention her, aren't you? And if you like this video, guys, give it a big fat thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel and you like these sort of videos or any sort of videos, then we love it if you subscribe. Or if you're already subscribed, hit the notification bell so you're kept up to date on when we do upload. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace out. My life. <laughs>